Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Lee Gaming featuring Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Link. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you the latest event update of uh, some cards that we should be looking forward to and also uh, introduce you a fun Miracle Contact deck concept which I have fun playing with it so I hope you guys have fun using Miracle Contact uh, spell card as well. If you like it, do drop a like, leave your comments down below on what other cards you or decks you like me to showcase and remember to subscribe and follow me on my Facebook for more updates and upload. So basically today we have a new event to play which means more gem, more SR and UR gem. So let's go through a bit on the most monster card and spell cards that is uh, able to drop from this event. I feel Geifer, uh, I mean the this card I don't think is pretty meta changing so it's fun to have it I mean for the collection purposes. Peyton Warrior uh, is a pretty high attack 2000 monster and but its effect for him to declare an attack is not easy so it probably belongs to a fun deck and the must be although with the high attack and defense but there's no effect to this monster which is kind of sad and moving on we have Mohan Violon so this card gains 500 attack for each equipped card equipped to this card so basically it's a potential 3050 attack level 4 monster but is it viable? I don't think so. And next we have Hannibal Necromancer. So I mean this is Spellcaster which is a pretty low defense, uh, low attack but high defense. So I'm able to place one spell counter basically it's playing spell counter card which I don't think is good enough as well. But the thing that in this event we are hyped about is Akana. So basically Akana is dropped once you accomplish uh, a certain mission. So we have uh, Manly's Door of Demis, a Fian card. We pretty much know this card from the farming events. And we have Mew's drop skill which is card shuffle. This skill allows you uh, by paying 300 life points, shuffle your deck. But this skill can be only used once per turn. So pretty good is like switcheroo or restart. And moving on to the least, we have another Menace Door of Demis and we have Master of Magician. So this skill can be used after a life point decrease by 2000, randomly add 1000 knife, dark magic attack and dark magic expanded to your hand. This skill can only be used once per duel. So it's a, uh, I would say, a dark magician kind of skill build. So moving on. We have a trick up the sleeve. So this skill uh, means that my starting hand will include one level 7 or higher dark spell caster type monster randomly selected from the deck. This skill will not be activated if a deck does not include one level 7 dark spell caster type monster. So basically this is also another uh, skill to summon dark magician quickly. Basically Arcana is about buffing a uh, dark magician with magician rod. Illusion magic, illusion magic. I'm not going through the details of this deck. You can pretty much look at it. Skill dark magician, another magician rod, and dark magic curtain. So I I will try my best to quickly farm up uh, Arcana and show you some deck type about it. So I hope you guys have fun. Without further ado, let's move on to the next topic, which is the uh, fusion contact deck that I'm gonna show you. So basically this deck is more about beat down and attacking because by attacking is winning. So what does con Miracle Contact do? So this is a card trader UR card. I finally managed to get two of it. So this allows me to shuffle into the deck from my hand, my fail or my graveyard the fusion material monster that are listed on elemental hero fusion monster that lists elemental hero news as a fusion material. So basically I would say that uh, if your hand, your deck, not your hand, the field and the graveyard, you can use miracle contact to fusion summon then. In my extra deck, I have elemental hero storm news. So this is a 3000 attack, 2500 defense. So once it's special, uh, I mean call out to the field. I can use its effect to destroy all spell and trap cards on the field. But at the end phase, this card will return back to my extra deck. And if th if this card is shuffled into the extra deck this way, 
I will shuffle all cards on the field into the deck. So basically, all cards on the field will be cleared off to uh, shuffle him back into the deck. I find this card pretty <coughs> game changing at times. So I hope you guys enjoy using it. Next, we have Elemental Hero Neil Knight. So basically, uh, this guy can't attack, I would say, can't direct attack or won't have any damage while attacking, but I can make a second attack during each battle phase. But that's no better damage, that's only to clear up the space you need. So we have the support as Elemental Hero Nils, which allows us to summon Elemental uh, Hero Nils Knight. We have new Space Pathfinder. Basically, this is an 1800 attack card. With the free spell, the Fear of the Warrior, it makes me 2000 attack, which is still viable in this meta. And I can use a special effect to get out new space from the deck. And new space allow all my fusion monster and my material monster to gain 500 attack. And it also allows my fusion monster to have an option to not activate their effect during end phase. So basically, if you have new space and you have elemental hero new storm, you have the option of not bringing it back to the deck. Pretty cool. So next we have new spatial aqua dolphin as a material for hero storm news. So its effect is that I can discard one card, look at your opponent hand and choose one monster card in it. So basically if you control a monster on the field which has higher attack or the same, I can destroy the card on the opponent hand and deal 500 damage. Pretty 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 cool and awesome with it. And I have new spatial air hummingbird. So once per turn, I can gain 500 life points for each card in my opponent hand. Also, a uh, material for new, new storm. And next, we have two cross porter because of this effect that I can send one monster I control to the graveyard and special summon one new spatial monster from my hand. And when this card is sent to the graveyard, I can add one new spatial monster from my deck to my hand. So basically, this is a mailing card to get three of this. Uh, to have a miracle contact to future summon this guy out and we have just one elemental hero nails to serve as one of the material for summoning this guy to miracle contact one over so basically this allows me to target one e hero normal monster in my graveyard special summon that target so i'm looking forward to elemental hero nails and this level 4 elemental hero and we have two super rush headlong to defend our our monster one new space a hero mask is also an amazing card so i can target one face up monster and send one e hero monster from my deck to the graveyard so pretty much it's more milling and you know quickly summoning your monster and two xing jiang hu just to knock down the back row so without further ado let's move on to the highlight i hope you guys enjoy this video so the first game that I'm gonna show you is a win against Cyber Angel. I would say it is a misplay on his part, but this should serve as a lesson to everyone that do not do not play like this. I would say. So let's move on to the highlight. Fear of the Warrior. So basically, I have Miracle Contact, Porter, Xing Jiang Hu, and E Hero Level Four. So he used PRT, get his Cyber Angel, and he quickly uh, get his either 10 out in defense position. Pretty OP, at this stage you were thought that, okay, you are gonna lose, but we shall see who has the last luck. Okay, more waiting, more shuffling back to the deck, and one set for enemy controller. So I use Sing Jen Hu. I use Hero Mask on Cross Porter to mill up uh, E Hero News. And I use Miracle Contact now to get uh, E Hero News Knight out to attack them. 2700. Attack twice, destroy everything. So now he used Senju, get out Dikini, and Absolute Reacher. Cyber Angel Dikiri and destroy my cross porter. I have one effect to get Dolphin out and he enemy control and take me. I know that I have gained from there, 
because I lucky he's not able to deal any damage to me. <laughs> so sad to say for him, but it's still unfinished. And I use new uh, spatial. Okay, this is the effect that I use because I want to destroy the Kini with 2,700 attack. So I use new special Aqua Dolphin to discard one card and I look at my opponent hand and choose one monster card which is the Kini. So if I have a monster that uh, my attack is 2,700. So by that, I'm able to destroy Cyber Injured the Kini and deal 500 attack and I just go suicide to tear him off. He has no cards in his hand and he just surrender. Pretty pretty nice play, but I, I think it's a misplay on his side. But a win is a win, so it's not easy for this deck to get a win to be honest. I As I say again, it's about 40-50% win rate, but it's kind of fun. I mean, it's quite easy to get the E-Hero Future Monster out. So next game against Paradox Brother, I start with E-Hero Pathfinder and it's a ninja attack. So I use my E-Hero level 4 to attack, he has a uh, Bola and he quickly uh, use Red Ninja effect to remove my Super Rush Headlong and Ninjitsu uh, Notebook. So basically he's just doing those ninja play, I'm, I'm kind of, I would say I'm not sure whether I'm fortunate or this deck is just able to beat meta deck because it's Cyber Angel, now it's Ninja. So now I only have this guy out. So Neo Pathfinder, I use Hero Mask to mill up E Hero Neos. And I can contact Miracle Contact, shuffle them back to my deck and get E Hero Neos Knight out. And to my surprise, he summoned three low monster at me. I was like, okay, I don't know for what reason, but I mean, I wouldn't do that if I'm him. Because it's GG from here. Crimson Ninja destroy his trap card. And he he can't freestyle the motion. He's just lost. Easy peasy like a cheesy, hazy, juicy deck. So final two replay. I hope you guys are following me so far? Joey Villa vs Joey Villa. So starting off in second turn. Fear of the Warrior. So I have Xing Zheng Hu. Pretty good. I use E Hero News. Level 4. Attack him. And Hero Mask to mill up one level 7 E Hero. And Xing Zheng who knocked down two back row, so he can't do anything to me. Super Rush Headlong to for defensive, and I just choose one card to destroy him, and it's GG. Easy game, easy life. Sometimes you just have to be lucky to win a match, or to win a trophy or a tournament. Luck is, is something at times. Skill is very important as well so this is the final game against the dino dad i hope you guys enjoy i'm going first which is good if i have xing jang hu and the heart of the card so dino i have xing jang hu i have miracle contact i set porter i use xing jang hu knock down his back row and he attack porter but i'm I use portal effect to get one more aqua dolphin. I should use his effect to get another card out. I use this as a, as a bait for him to attack me, which he did. And super rush headlong, destroy him. Xinjiang who again, I turn into face down, two face down card. And just attack me, I use Xinjiang who knock down. He has no more back row control. I just need the heart of the card to America contact which it does not come in favor for me I got hummingbird now so I just came on attacking him and he has Brad Bakios which is not good he's, he's overpowering my pathfinder I use my hummingbird to gain more life point America contact now 
to get Nils. Night out. I misplay here. I was getting confident and arrogant after this. I have super rush. Oh, I attack. I on the next on the next turn, I guess. I got super rush hit long. I thought I have game. I did not set and see what happened. Bad Bakyos put me to defense position and destroy me. I was like, oh my god, I was gonna lose. I have no monster now. My life point is going low. And how of the card was just lucky. 2100 itch. He suddenly electro me. I just tried to protect it against Earth so he wouldn't suicide with me. I need a heart of the card and Neo Pathfinder to get Neo Space, which allows me to buff up my attack to 2400. I attack him and he has more monster called Bad Bakyos. I only left with 900 points. See how the tight turn? I use Oversoul to get E Hero level 4 out. <coughs> My mistake is I use Hero Mask to mail out another card. So, but the next turn, lucky I'm able to get back to my attack because I try to use Miracle Contact for the finish. So, Hummingbird is out. And I just go for the win. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And feel free to leave your comments down below if you have any decks or I mean any improvement for this deck. So I hope that you guys have a good day, good afternoon, good night, signing off and peace.